Dragon Ball as a franchise is no stranger to having amazing tournament arcs. Whether you're into the OG, Z, or even just the Tournament of Power, there's a lot of choices vying for your number one spot. The goal of this video, though, is to pitch you a new best tournament in Dragon Ball, though, and it's, uh, it, it's not actually from the series. Let me explain. In the modded version of BT3 that I play, there's an extra difficulty level called Z. And that made me think, in a tournament of just the Z fighters, who would come out on top in this game? And so I put together a bracket based off the strength of the actual characters in the franchise right now and streamed it allowing people to bet channel points on who they thought they would win granted i don't think any of us were ready for just how hyped this tournament was going to be let the games begin long hair we're going to the world tournament stage goku and yamcha to kick off the z fighters budokai tenkaichi match number one first to two begin our two fighters enter the ring we've got to play a bit of a mini game here folks i'm going for five bowls that's five bowls i'm done mashing the audience is cheering. You can't hear it because I put the sound on five. We've got our setting today. The world tournament. Beautiful day. Let's hear the fighters. How about a quick scrap? Oh, a quick scrap. All out. No, I've done some training at King Kai's place. Oh, he's done some training at King Kai's place. This might be a new Yamcha. The first key blast fire charging at each other's face. They're just different like that. First Wolf Fang Fist comes out from Yamcha. Look at the precision. Big hit from Goku, but Yamcha weaves it. Wait a minute, backhand into the Wolf Fang Fist! Right through the Key Blast! Get your awoos, chat! This is gonna be a beatdown! A huge one-bar health lead on Yamcha! Our protagonist, Goku, has seen better days. He whips the beam! Thankfully, the spectators don't get hit by that. That would have been huge. Yamcha has his back turned to him. Goku might be starting to look for a ring-out victory here. Yamcha's got the health lead, and he just keeps it up! Doesn't land the connection. A counter! Dragon Ball! Vanish! anime when will it end they're clashing what a show for us all here today my goodness in the ring they tied that was sick that was actually just sick huge uppercut from goku yamcha with the block they both fall to the ground multiple key blasts here from yamcha and a great vantage to once again take goku's back Woo! if that one hit that was done grab attempt from goku but it doesn't go through a double vanish yamcha's the one on top he's seeing too fast Perhaps Goku needs to go Super Saiyan to stand a chance. Yamcha could have gotten the ring out, but knocks Goku up instead of down. Let's see if he regrets that strategy choice later. Wolf Fang Fist, another one comes out. Goku able to dodge this one. Still takes a bit of a punish there. Four bars. Goku's got him on the ropes, but never mind. Yamcha's able to flip it around. Huge advantage for Yamcha. After image. I don't know if it's still going on that strong. Goku does what he can do. Counters it, but it's not looking good. Five bars. Could he be going for his ultimate? He weaves it! What a dodge! He wave. Backstand into the meteor combination, the greatest move of all time! And it's it's just counter. We don't get to see it. That was a tease. That was a tease, but you can't ask Yamcha to just get hit by that. Beam to the face. The health is looking bad for Goku! He's able to counter it! Another counter. One more key blast. We'll do it! It's over. Round one goes to Yamcha in a surprisingly high health sweep incredible that king kai training is hitting different if you bet on yamcha you've got to be thinking this is your big payday we're going in for the fight again here is again this is a best of two we're going to skip to their talk and here we go second round begins with goku dashing in key blast from goku last time we saw yamcha take a health lead early this time it looks to be goku going on the offensive walking him back to the entrance door telling him he's got to go resubmit meteor combination takes him back to the stage i'm not sure yamcha can take this beating the full health swing goes in Goku's favor. Damn, Yamcha not waiting not waiting at all. He's already swinging on him. Is this game going to go 1-1? Counter from Yamcha. We're looking at anime again. Is this going to be the full Dragon Ball Z sweep? It is. We're in the clash. Neither of them taking the advantage here. We might see another tie. Oh, anime! These guys are going crazy. This is just the first match, not even the finals. Who's going to come out on top in the clash? It's Yamcha. Wolf Fang Fist again! It, wow, it misses by a mile and a half. Goku landing a few hits on block there. Oh! Me, another meteor combination. It lands again! This is going to put Yamcha into the yellow. Again, we saw a huge health lead for Yamcha last time. It looks like Goku's not going to let that happen again. He gets grabbed! Depending on the arc of this grab, this could be bad. It's straight ahead. Not too bad. Wolf Fang Fist. He blocked. He's out of stamina. If he falls, he'll fall into the grass. It might be a Yamcha win. He's going to plummet into the grass. It's over for our protagonist. Yamcha has stolen the victory and advances over Goku. Yamcha just did the unthinkable. What might be the biggest upset of the entire tournament. 
He steals his stamina and advances into the second round. My God, that was an absolute shock. Unreal. You did not want to see that happen if you were a Goku fan. What looked like such an easy, easy game just unfortunately just got taken out. That was crazy. So the tournament is now live. Let's go ahead and report the scores. You wouldn't believe it, but Yamcha takes two in a 2-0 victory. Not only was our protagonist beaten, but he was embarrassed out there. And now we're going into the next round of Piccolo versus Trunks. The crowd once again jumping out of their seats, doing their three-frame JPEG animation. You know they're excited. I am neither Kami nor Piccolo. I'm simply a Namekian who's forgotten his own name. Damn! You and me! Nothing personal between these two fighters. They just want to introduce themselves. Trunks starts off with a dash. Piccolo with a huge sweep into a chop. He's going for a round one victory in three seconds. In three seconds. Talk about a little bit extra. He got a little bit of an ass beating there, folks. If you're a Trunks fan, you've got to be sweating. That was by far the fastest round and what will probably remain the fastest round of the tournament. Piccolo up 1-0 in a surprising fashion. My God. We're just gonna go right again. I don't want to ice him. We're just gonna skip right ahead. This might be the fastest fight in the entire tournament. Trunks keeping his range. He learned from last round. And a clash comes out between our two fighters. Perhaps Trunks might be a little angry at the result. Again, he's keeping his distance. Extreme distance. He is getting away from the ground and away from the grass. And most importantly, away from the wall that did him in. A little bit of anime here. A little bit of Dragon Ball. Will we see Trunks go into that Super Saiyan form that was able to dispatch Frieza with such ease? Not yet, not yet at least. Big hit on Piccolo. He doesn't let himself go out of bounds. Trunks playing risky. Piccolo puts himself over the grass. Doesn't seem to be worried, especially if he can get a few cheap hits in. Big opening from Piccolo here, a huge hit. Oh, multiple counters come out. These fighters are clashing like it's nobody's business. A much better showing from Trunks here, but it doesn't matter if he doesn't win here. He's out of the tournament. Piccolo seems to be starting it up. Trunks again, keeping his distance, he's afraid. He's either afraid or playing very strategic. A big spike from Trunks. Not going to do enough because of his choice to go as high as he He's putting himself right up against the wall. It might end right here. I think Trunks just rung himself out by committing to the clash. He did. Trunks outsmarted by Piccolo. Extremely proficient use of the spacing there. Trunks just couldn't keep it together. Again and again, Trunks was shown to be outsmarted by the strategician. Is that even a word? That is Piccolo. He's too smart. He's too strong. And those are both qualities you want to see in an experienced fighter. Trunks blown out. Absolute blowout. Let's talk about it. Strategist. That's the word. Damn. Absolutely unreal result. I'm going to be honest. I thought Trunks, especially with that player two side, was going to do something there. But we see this tournament is not biased. Saiyans on Fraud Watch. Potential fraud alert for every Saiyan on here. Vegeta. Vegeta has got to perform. A match with so many narratives on the line. Another Earthling or another Saiyan. Will one fall? Seems you're ready to die. Oh, now, come at me with all you've got. Big words from both competitors here. Let's see how it plays out. Empty starts from both of them. A lot of defense on display here. Tien is going to take the opening gambit. Tries to launch him into the air. Maybe looking for that volleyball fist. What a counter. I'm going to see the vanishing start up again. That was a huge loss for Trunks. Let's see if Vegeta can learn his lesson from that. He does. He looks more like Piccolo than he does his son Trunks. Trying to get trying to get Tien out of the ring. Huge weave. Wow, great defense from Vegeta here. He's not looking to lose. He's not here to lose. Tien with a great combo. This might be the end. It is. Oh, my. Just barely enough space on the stage. And he gets Vegeta off of it in a huge 1-0 win. I honestly thought it might be a 2-0 for Vegeta. So far, the Saiyans are on Fraud Watch. It might not be any different with Vegeta. We can't lose both Goku and Vegeta chat. What is this Z Fighters tournament without a Goku or Vegeta in the finals? You just never know with these things. Prove once and for all, I'm better than Kakarot. He, that's a more accurate line to this tournament. If he wins, he will have forever proven that he's better than Goku. And a huge clash, immediately both fighters taking off. Vegeta loses it though. All that shit talk just a damn, that's Vegeta's technique. It's over! Vegeta's gonna take round two! After Vegeta's technique, 
That was a great round. He's fighting for pride now, folks. He got his pride hurt in that first one, and he's not looking to lose it any more than it already has been. My God, just get him in. Get him into the next one. That was a raw showing. That was raw. Tien needs to look for an opening. Vegeta spamming Key Blast, trying to see something. Oh, no. If that had been followed up on, that might have been the end of Vegeta's tournament hopes. But he's got Tien right where he wants him, right over the grass. A huge... Why did he switch sides with him? Again, we're seeing maybe just where you could use a bit more strategy there. Almost gets Tien out of the ring again. Vegeta's gonna go for his ultimate. Are we gonna see? Are we gonna see our first ultimate of the tournament? He blinked closer to the wall. A huge counter. They're fighting for keeps out here. It's over! Vegeta able to win the class and with a smooth side chop sends Tien slamming into the crowds. Unreal showing. A reverse two sweep. Vegeta has done it. A great showing and a huge win for the Saiyans when they needed it most. Vegeta, our first Saiyan to win, advances into the second round over Tien. That was our first not 2-0 of the tournament, by the way. Obviously, I don't want to be too biased here, but Krillin is my favorite character of all time in Dragon Ball Z. He's just the go. He, he has so many good qualities, and this isn't Gohan's best look. Whoa, hold on, Gohan. Go easy on me, okay? Krillin calling for an easy fight here. Let's see if Gohan obliges. Gohan immediately tries to ring himself out. Oh, wow. He listened to Krillin almost too good. That was crazy. Big sweep of the leg by Krillin. Knocks him into the ground. <gasps> Uh, what has to be one inch away from defeat. Gohan decides to stand his ground. I don't know who it was. Was it Gohan on the back step or Krillin on the forward step? It was Gohan on the back step. He rung himself out. Gohan, the bitch allegations might be way too accurate. He immediately went easy on him and rung himself out. He's put himself around beneath Krillin. If he doesn't actually start fighting, this is going to get bad. We should have put this guy in a green tracksuit if he was going to come out here with this energy, folks. This is almost unacceptable to the sport and diminishes everybody else's effort. I'm going all out, Krillin. That's a lie. Whoa, whoa, hold on, Gohan. Go easy on me, okay? If Krillin is able to Naruto speech his way out of this again, a jump from both of our competitors. These are two fighters that have clearly trained with each other for a long period of their lives. Both using clear strategies here. Still on the concrete. Keeping the air. Gohan seems to be taking this fight a little more seriously. Dodges a sweep from Krillin. Responds with some of his own. Big combo here. Almost 10 hits. Raw 3,000 damage. He's dodging everything. Krillin throwing out. Big counter. This might be the full Dragon Ball Z special. A little bit of anime on top. Sprinkle it in there. Flash! Krillin with a good showing. He might not go on down here. He doesn't. Go on, able to escape with a bit of pride here. Launches Krillin away. He dashes for him. Wild Sense comes out from Gohan, opting to spend his blue meter to dodge. Gets full key from the Clash and sends Krillin away. Another dash. Gohan really wants to keep this a close range fight. But uh, even saying that, Krillin seems to be dominating the conversation. A missed counter from Gohan. He's not wearing his glasses. This is a dangerous setting to be Solar Flare. We can't see. Gohan can't see. Krillin taking advantage of it. Throwing a few key blasts in there. Nah, I'd solar flare. My god, Krillin is putting the mittens on him. Dangerous setting again, that ring out. If you hit that entrance, that also counts as a ring out. Fighting over there is not where you want to be. Another clash. Oh, Krillin too fast for him. Puts the moves on him. Gohan rejects his key blast. It's too weak. Gohan wins the clash as well. Oh my goodness. This is an anime fight here. All the key blasts are being reflected. Krillin doing his best. Go on, doing his best. They're mirroring each other's fighting style. This is absolutely insane. This is a good match. Bringing a sense of respect back to the sport. Gohan finally taking this serious. Another solar flare. What will Krillin do with the opening he's got? Destructo disc. Gohan can't see him yet. Sees him now. He's going to dash back in. No clash. Gohan able to escape. Full power energy blast volley. Definitely not the strongest move in Gohan's repertoire, but one he's choosing to bust out today. Wild Sense again to escape Krillin's Wrath. Dash again, two destructive, is three. A big counter from Gohan here, but if he touches the ground, it's over. Krillin spares his friend, decides to go ahead and pick him off the ground. But Gohan will spare him no such mercy from the top rope. 
Krillin's in the grass. It's 1-1. Gohan and Krillin. That was a great match. If we can see more like that, the tournament will be better for it. Let's go into the finals. His final chance to go truly all out. Gohan says this, but we've yet to see either an ultimate or even a transformation uh, from the whole tournament. But Gohan could be the first. A clash! Whoever wins this clash might just win the tournament. He gets sent towards the wall. He stops himself. A huge control of key here. Oh my god! In a very similar fashion to round one. Gohan is sent towards the back wall, and it's over. Another Saiyan takes an L in the tournament. Vegeta's got to be shaking his goddamn head. Gohan is out. Let's get that bracket up because we've got another surprising entry in what might be the most shocking tournament we've ever seen. It was looking like it was going to be a 2-0, but Gohan able to respond back only for Krillin to sweep in convincing fashion. We have our semifinal bracket. This could be an Earthling final if we see a performance from these two. It's Piccolo versus Yamcha. Last time Piccolo didn't have anything personal to say to his opponent. Let's see if Piccolo has anything to say now. Piccolo, let's go a few rounds. Ooh. I suppose you think you're pretty tough, don't you? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the semifinals are starting off with a personal match and a Wolfgang Fist to start it off. I guess he does think he's pretty strong. Let's see if you can say the same, Piccolo. A great start for Yamcha. Both fighters are at the peak of the stage. Yamcha wants to take it down to the concrete. And a great dodge from Yamcha. What a showing. Almost gets Piccolo out of the ring. He's just standing above that grass. Gets hit with a full key blast. Another Wolfang Fist. That's dangerous. Almost rings himself out on the umbrella of death. What a counter by Piccolo. Doesn't get grabbed. Responds in earnest with a melee combination. Piccolo back shots going crazy right now. Able to counter it though. Into a full counter. You don't want to get hit by these. We saw that in the Vegeta match. They're fighting, folks. An equal clash. A double sweep, but Yamcha's able to land it first and teleport out of there. Trying to charge up. Could he be going for another classic Wolfang Fist? Or is he going for more? He blast into a launch. They're over the entrance to the tournament. Again, if you hit that, you're also out of bounds. This is a dangerous spot for Big Big Blake Grenade comes out. Yamcha dodges it with ease. Was that MUI Yamcha? We'll never know. He's landing a combo Piccolo. Couldn't launch him all the way down, even though that was clearly the intent. Another Wolf Fang Fist right through the Key Blast. Not sure which way this one's going to launch him, but either way, if you're a Piccolo fan, you've got to be sweating now. Both competitors at the top of the ring. Piccolo with a lot of time to charge and a lot of bar to go for. Doesn't seem to use any of it for his blue bar now. He does threaten to charge it up, though. Yamcha, amazing use of that vanish. We've seen it all tournament long. He's got Piccolo tucked into the corner. Not letting him charge up. Oh my god, a blink and a wolf egg fist. Piccolo's able to dodge. Almost on his last bar of health. Yamcha has a clear lead in terms of fighting ability here. Piccolo could be looking for a ring out victory though. And these counters definitely favor him. Yamcha is a beast of nature. Light grenade for Piccolo. Wolf egg fist from Yamcha. It's not going to fly this time. Piccolo out of the light grenade. Tries to hit him with a surprise attack. Not going to work. Competitor blinks away. Piccolo on his last bit of stamina. If he loses that last bit of key, he'll fall to the ground. But Yamcha just beats his ass. For a little taste of my wolf fang fit. Oh my god, and he's too cold. Oh my god, he stacks too much paper. His bitch too bad. That's Yamcha taking a 1-0 lead in front of Piccolo. Here we go. The cameraman going crazy. Piccolo, let's go a few rounds. Oh no. What did Yamcha mean by a few? Did he literally just mean two? Yamcha tries to land a grab immediately. It's blocked by Piccolo. We might see Piccolo try to go for one of his patented quick wins here. Yamcha, as a competitor, I'm sure he knows about it. I'm sure he's well aware of the risk. Let's see if he's willing to dance. And no key, though. Yamcha has to make the choice to fall back. If he blocks a technique and he can... Oh, my God! Oh, my God! I thought that might be the end. Yamcha again takes it down to the concrete. Clearly, he's a much better competitor on the ground, or at least so he thinks. He's at absolutely zero key, though. He can't afford to risk blocking any techniques. Piccolo tries to land a sweep. Is able to counter Yamcha again. This is a high vanish round. A high vanish round. Light grenade. No stamina left to dodge. Yamcha has to take it. He's going to charge up now. Both competitors charging up. Clear Dragon Ball Z. Yamcha breaking the rule of anime, though. He's not going to let him charge up all the way. Another Wolf Fang Fist. Piccolo able to dodge it this time, though. Ooh. False courage comes out from Piccolo. He's going to take an armor boost. Yamcha's going all the way. Are we going to see the wolf? The spirit ball? No, Piccolo's able to stop him right before he gets there. That could have been bad. Yamcha was teasing on the edge of launching an ultimate. Absolutely unreal. Another light grenade comes out, and Yamcha can't dodge it. The health lead definitely on Piccolo's side this time. 
And maybe that's why Yamcha is so confident as to want to get this ring out. This might be it. Piccolo stands his ground at the last second. Able to stop what was surely going to be a finishing move from the Wolf. An equal class. They're both just going to tie it there. Back down on the concrete. This time Yamcha is going to land a counter. That's going to give him full key. Wild sense from Piccolo, but Yamcha is just going to beat that naturally. Again, more counters here. Dragon Ball. This is an anime match. Yamcha trading blows with Piccolo. This might be the longest match that we've seen in the tournament. When two competitors at their peak both want to test each other at their full limit. Yamcha not wasting any time to charge. He doesn't want to give Piccolo that time. Fighting over the grass, another counter. Devastating comes out. Will this one go all the way? It just might. Clearly a different Piccolo we're seeing here. Locked in, focusing more on, on defense. Doesn't want to get taken by surprise. Doesn't want to lose that health lead that he's worked so hard to get. But Yamcha creeping up on him this whole time. He must have been down a bar at one point. And he's not settling for that. Ooh, great defense by both competitors here. A counter set up by Piccolo. Again, we're going to see these competitors clash. Like Renee, no stamina to dodge. Yamcha's in his yellow bar. Less than a bar and a half of life left. He's going to choose to charge up. Piccolo doing the same. False courage is again. He's going to build up his defense. Yamcha taking that time to build up the full normal key. Not going to push it any far. Piccolo not flinching from any of those. Thanks to the false courage. After image. Yamcha's gone for an after image. Five bars to use. Will he take another one? Just countering. If you're a Yamcha fan, you need to see something different now. Piccolo goes for the kill move. And a light grenade that could finish it. And he has it there, folks. Piccolo has tied the game up 1-1 with a great combo into a light grenade finish. This has definitely been the most back and forth round of the tournament so far. We don't want to ice either competitor. We're going back in. Unreal showing from these two. Both competitors have a little something to say. And, and somehow it makes sense every time, no matter the storyline. Piccolo could get that quick finish. If you're a Yamcha fan, you've got to know about that Piccolo quick finish. Oh, the Wolf Egg Fist gets countered. Both on the concrete. Yamcha going for a huge kick. Using, utilizing that vantage. He doesn't have a lot of key left. He's not going to be able to go bar for par with Piccolo. He's got to retreat. Special beam cannon through the chest. Did him in like Dr. Giro, but he stands back up. Unreal. He's going for the blue bar charge. No. Both competitors dashing towards each other. Whoever loses this might lose. Thankfully, Yamcha took the L and was able to just bounce back towards the... Oh, my God. Yamcha is doing a good job at not letting any of these errors be a loss. But either way, there's still errors. And they're they're making it so Piccolo is going to have an easier time. He's going for the blue bar. They both are. Yamcha has access to the spirit ball and faster techniques. They're both in their car. Oh, my goodness. They both have their ultimate. This is a clash of a clash. They just right. Like grenade and a wolf egg fist. Who's going to get there first? The like grenade does. Yamcha. Needs a win here. He needs something to go his way. Piccolo has been out maneuvering him this entire time. Unreal. Yamcha's going to win the clash into a wolf egg fist. He doesn't get there. Piccolo able to block. Going to break his guard, though. Lowers his key just a little bit. Yamcha needs to get back on offense. He needs to find a way to dig deep. He needs to find a way to call upon that wolf spirit. But who got rung out? Was that Piccolo on the ground to Yamcha? We don't know. We need a... No, it was Piccolo. Piccolo was able to knock out Yamcha on the ground in a frame-by-frame -frame finish. We're going to need to see that one in slow motion, folks. Oh, my goodness. What was by far the closest match of the tournament ends in a, in a upset for Piccolo. A reverse 2-0 sweep. Both of these competitors showing why the sport is so beloved. Yamcha was able to get a well-earned victory. A close match in round two. And then Piccolo just edged him out on round three. Unfortunate. But that's why Piccolo's the GOAT. The most impressive wins of the tournament. Piccolo might just be looking to win the entire thing. Now, this could be looked at as a huge fraud potential match. Krillin did not have a great performance against Gohan because, uh, well, let's put it lightly. Gohan was kind of a bitch. Gohan was not really fighting. But Vegeta also needs to prove something for the Saiyans here. He is the Saiyans' only hope at not being embarrassed in this tournament. It's going to be Vegeta versus the strongest Earthling. Do we want... You know what? I'll put him in the Boo Saga outfit. Why not? It's Vegeta versus Krillin. The pride of the Saiyans versus the strongest Earthling. I will not hear any debates on that. It seems you're ready to die. <clears throat> this might be it. Krillin can never have a confident moment at all in the games. But they're both going to dash at each other. No clash. Krillin's actually going to be able to get a shocking surprise on him. Super explosive wave. That is a cheap ability. Surprising that we haven't seen Vegeta use that more. Limited key, though. Vegeta has to take time to charge. Krillin has the advantage of being able to go on the offense. That might be the game! My god, Vegeta's able to stop himself right at the wall. Barely getting away. Destructo this. Once again, Krillin able to sneak his way around to the other fighter. Again, does it again, this time with Key Blast. We're going to see a full anime clash. Vegeta gets all his key back. 
by far in a dominant position. Steps back with another super explosive wave. Great move. That's Vegeta's technique. Krillin has his back to the wall. If he can find a way to land something here, Vegeta weaves what was definitely going to be a game ender. He needs to stop it now, though. My goodness. Krillin with a huge haymaker. And it was. Vegeta got rung out against the wall. Hopefully, that's just a learning experience for Vegeta. That's why we go first to two. That's why we go first to two. Krillin keeps on getting these cheesy wins. Is that something that is just, you know, an accident? Or, or is he planning this? You've got to start wondering that now. I will prove. Once and for all, uh -oh. better than Kakarot. Uh-oh. Last time he said that, we saw what happened. This time they don't clash again. Vegeta going to counter Krillin's blow. Krillin dashing back. Vegeta wins. That was the move he used to take out Tien. Both competitors jump. Vegeta gets higher. A huge kick on Krillin, but it's not able to connect. Krillin dashes back in. He wants to play that close-range game. Let's see if he can play it well, though. Lands a sweep on Vegeta. A couple kicks to the head. <gasps> it was almost over again. Vegeta stops the key blast from being able to finish him off. Dodging forward. Another vanish from Krillin. The Earthlings seem to have mastered this vanish technique. Krillin with a huge combo here. He waved. Vegeta has to back up. Not seeing many techniques from these guys. Super explosive wave comes back out. Definitely one of Vegeta's better tools. It lowers Krillin right to the ground. He's got his back to the wall. But was almost able to ring Vegeta out on the little grass he had. Vegeta tries to go for a counter. Krillin's not taking the bait. Krillin's got a huge health lead here. If he can keep that up, we might see another health victory. Something tells me that's not the victory he wants. Vegeta able to land a counter on again. What was going to be a finishing move? And we see it again. The same technique Vegeta used to get another win on TN. He uses to beat Krillin. That's a huge upset there. Especially with what was going to be Krillin's knockout combo. It's 1-1. One, one, the final Saiyan versus the final Earthling. We're going into round three. The deciding round in the semifinals. I will prove once and for all. He's using his good voice line again. The confidence, the pride on the line. That's always where Vegeta's been his best. And we need to see it again today. Krillin, what a grab combo. That one could have been devastating if over the grass. Great vantage from both of our fighters. Another great vantage from Vegeta. He might be looking to end it right here. Krillin says no. Dodges the grab in what would have been the finale. And he, oh, he, looked, he does it again. He does it again in the same technique he used to beat Tien and then beat Krillin. He does it again to seal the deal against Krillin. Vegeta takes a quick win against Krillin. He's able to take the win. Let's bring those brackets up, folks. You can't get too invested in any one fighter. The Earthlings have been eliminated from this tournament. We saw Krillin take one round, but Vegeta, the, the prince of reverse two sweeping Earthlings, has done it again. The Saiyans are breathing a sigh of relief as the prince has made the finals. It's Piccolo versus Vegeta. Two characters that have had a lot of respect for each other throughout the entire series. Piccolo straight up told this guy that he was going to go to hell. All right, how about this? How about this? We're going to make this a best of five, a first to three. And if it goes 2-2, two, two, my promise to you is if it goes 2-2, two, two, we will manually boost these guys up to their max form for the finale. Let the finals begin. What a great event. What a great event. I couldn't be happier than to be here with you guys, um, you know, watching the great sport of two bots fighting. Come at me with everything you've got. Understand? Oh. Suppose you think you're pretty tough, don't you? Oh. Two finalists here speaking from experience. Starts the fight with a key blast from Piccolo. Almost ran out of bounds. A strong counter on Vegeta's kick. This is a pretty anime way to begin the fight. The finals. Who's going to take the millions any prize? And more importantly, the pride that comes along with it. Another anime clash. These are two fighters that don't want this to go to waste. They clash it out. Vegeta lands a sweep. Piccolo back into another counter. We've seen... Vegeta get a lot of easy wins off those but he's low on key now he needs to find time to charge up Piccolo not gonna let that happen Vegeta slippery though he can't seem to pin him down sweeps the leg could this be the game winning combo no Piccolo puts a stop to it those are always dangerous when you see him another anime clash this one might go even again an even trade both competitors have chances Vegeta out of stamina though out of key he can't afford to block any strong hits he takes a risk with one there. Piccolo able to dodge all of his hits. And a strong kick. Vegeta weaves it, though. He couldn't afford to block it. He dodges that one again. Piccolo goes into a counter. Vegeta's out of key, though. This is a bad place for a competitor to be. Over the grass. Out of key. Unable to go in these long-distance trades. But he's able to switch sides with Piccolo. That alone might be strong enough. Saiyan Pride. It doesn't go off, but he might go for it again. He's tapping into that Saiyan Pride. 
the one he's been calling upon this entire tournament. Wild sense for Piccolo. Vegeta once again able to get his back towards the wall. Piccolo switches sides with him. Both competitors in a very dangerous area of the tournament. Nobody can afford to fall even five feet. Oh, towards the wall, he almost clashed with his back against the entrance. That would have been the round for Piccolo. Vegeta instead able to survive on this health lead. And he's just going to keep widening the difference. Super explosive wave. Very strong ability here. Piccolo all cut up. But he keeps on dodging Vegeta once again out of stamina. And Piccolo's able to find that wall for a upset round one. Or maybe I'm just stronger than I realized. Oh my good. And he's talking his shit. He is talking his shit, folks. Again, a close round. If you're a Vegeta fan, there's still things to be proud of. He was winning the health battle. He just ran out of that key and couldn't stop himself from Piccolo's game-winning decisive move. Two jumps from our competitors. That's Vegeta's technique. Another jump from Piccolo. Another jump from Piccolo. He seems to be thinking that if he can find a way over his opponent, that he might be able to get another quick win. He did it to his son. Can he find a way to do it to the father? If he can find a way to cross this one off. Oh, a counter on the key blast. This one might go even again. Piccolo has that key difference though. Able to blast out another light grenade. That's going to cost Piccolo all his key. Is he going to charge up? No. He's going to spend what little he has left. He can't afford to block any big hits. He gets full key from a counter. Utilizing the mechanics of the fight. This guy's absolutely insane. Oh, light grenade. But that's going to... It doesn't whip. It's too big of a projectile. Out of the smoke, Piccolo comes running out. Again, Vegeta's struggling with key management. He's going to copy the same trick from Piccolo, though. Utilizing it to get full key. Saiyan Pride comes out. He's got the boost. He's got the strength. He's got the entire fate of the Saiyan lineage riding on him. And he's going to back it up with a super explosive wave. Again, though, this time Piccolo's been able to find the, find the health lead. He's going Super Saiyan for the first transformation we've seen all tournament. The pride of the Saiyans. He's not one to lose. We're finally seeing a transformation, and it's going to be a good one. Will he utilize it to overcome the difference in strength between him and Piccolo? Or will Piccolo see this as a sign that maybe he's got to tap into a little bit extra himself? Wild Sense comes out. Again, Vegeta's able to find his way. Light Grenade! Maximum Flasher! Will this be the first Key Blast clock of the tournament? In Super Saiyan, he's going to find a way to eke out the edge. Vegeta's going to take the win. He gets that Key Blast wave for 9,000 damage. Most importantly, Piccolo's at the bottom of the ring. Absolutely insane. Finish sign. Vegeta seems to be making it known to the audience that he intends to finish this game now. Another clash. Another clash from our two fighters here. Vegeta's got him on the edge. We've seen it all in this finals now, folks. Vegeta, after losing that first game, has found a way to tap into a power beyond base. And he's going to tap into even more. He's going into the God form. A rare Saiyan form we haven't seen it since the manga, folks. The Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, the last canonical appearance. My goodness. He's a god. He's taken this Saiyan form to the highest level it can go. The Saiyan pride, the finish sign. Light grenade might even it up. Piccolo trying to win this game, even when the stats seem to be against him. Can he find a way to do it? Vegeta has him in a combo. The health lead is so close. But a Gallic gun taking it back to basics. Piccolo is able to dodge what would have been the finishing blow. And it's over. Piccolo finds a way to sneak a win out. Even against all odds. Against all the odds. Piccolo, with just that inherent a little bit extra, brought out a dog that we've never seen. He overcame the finish line. He overcame the Saiyan pride. He overcame the Super Saiyan transformation. I can't even begin to tell you what he was able to do there. What a match. What a showing. He lost the beam clash, but he didn't. He didn't lose the match. He won the war. This is a 2-0. We've seen Vegeta come back from 1-0. But can we see him come back from 2-0? After a round like that, there's no reason to change the format. I can't pick Vegeta up from where he left. He's got to do it again. He's got to do it again. The format says so. I don't want to... Uh, it was too hyped to make any adjustments. Absolutely insane finals today, folks. By far one of the most exciting matches we've seen all day. If not the most exciting. Will Piccolo try to just finish things up quick? He might just try to end it. A 2-0 lead in the first of three finals. He's got Vegeta on the ropes again. Vegeta responds back in kind. What a counter to go. That's Vegeta's technique. <laughs> Use it to no good effect. Just softening up the ground. Blocks the counter. A light grenade comes out. That'll leave Piccolo on very low. He's able to trade. Oh, no. Piccolo able to steal out. 
full key. I'm unsure who has the health lead here, but I think it's edging towards Piccolo, but obviously very close. A huge flurry of attacks. Vegeta had to find a way to dodge it, and he does. Vegeta is getting comboed once again. He's got Piccolo on the ropes. He's trying to go for a quick finish. Will we see the Vegeta we've seen before? Maybe go into a counter, try to steal a game out. We've seen this one happen. Will it happen again? No, going to the counters. The pride of the Saiyans are on the line. Vegeta gave him a good showing. I'm just not sure what it is about Piccolo. He just, he can't seem to be beat. False courage from Piccolo. Now he's got the armor. Now he's the one utilizing his, his key bars. And oh, what a strong finish. After the false courage, it's Piccolo in a 3-0 victory. My goodness. What a tournament. What a showing. And Piccolo, I mean, he, there was never a moment where he flinched. There was a never a moment where the lights were too bright for him. He just came out, played his best, and has been crowned the new champion of the Z Fighters. What an event. What an event. Wow. Let's get the bracket up and make it official. Piccolo was able to win the first round in a close showing. The second in an even closer match. One that many would have probably given to Vegeta if the match had been stopped 30 seconds earlier. And then he did it again in a even more convincing fashion. Piccolo has become the champion. He's done it again, folks. He's won the Z Fighters Tenkaichi Budokai. What a special event. Thank you and good night.